we rebuilding. We rebuilding ourselves. People got to understand what has happened to me over these years. They would never fully understand. But no, I've been done wrong, bro. Because of my greatness, because of my power that I have with them, not only my actions of what I do in the ring, but what I speak with my voice to people. <laughs> How I speak into them, bro. Right. Ah, my grandma told me I was anointed, though. That I may go through many trials and tribulations, but as long as I don't give up, things will always right. go my way, bro. If AJ yeah. doesn't set the fight in March. Okay, so about the AJ fight, because I know people don't keep asking me, right? So about the AJ fight. Like, listen, uh, the prince himself, this is from the prince himself. Uh, AJ, right? If Deontay would have won, if Deontay would have won, AJ was already consider considering retirement. Say that again so they can hear you. If Deontay would have beat Joseph Parker, AJ was already considering retirement because Deontay. He signed the contract. Yeah, people would say, well, he signed the contract. Yeah, he signed him. You still can retire. Mm -hmm. And that's from people who overheard his people talking. Now, keep in mind that we was around the Prince, we was around the Sheiks, you know what I'm saying, his tribe and things of that nature. So I have I have absolutely nothing to lie about. You know what I mean? We was around the Sheik, the Prince, and those people, are these are the people who pretty much run that country. So if anything was heard of that, 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 that sense or that was heard, of course they're going to tell us, right? And that was something that was heard, overheard by him speaking. You know what I mean? By that's, him speaking. That's probably why he wasn't talking spicy too bad after the fight. So Christmas is over and we're looking forward to the new year. Uh, a big shout out to all the people making content on boxing. Of course, I could uh, suggest that that doesn't apply to everybody, but I suppose it does. I suppose you're contributing one way or another. And uh, I don't like to say, oh, even though we disagree and so on and so forth, because I don't naturally think like that. There might be certain issues that we disagree upon, but I don't necessarily have to debate on debate you on that, and then always respect you. If there are there are only so many items and issues that I can disagree with a person with before I start thinking like, you know what, this goes deeper beyond just a disagreement, and uh, the way we think about or we, the way we approach matters. It's got to do with personalities and maybe a spiritual thing as a matter of fact. Maybe your spirit doesn't agree with me, with mine. So therefore, we don't necessarily have to communicate. Unfortunately, when it comes to boxing, we're talking about the same issue. So, I'm saying all that to say this, that there might be some channels out there that I don't necessarily agree with the total of their content. But I will respect them on certain issues where we agree. But that doesn't apply to to channels upon which, for the most part, I do not agree. Because they happen to be one-dimensional, one way or another. Like, for example, if there's a channel out there, a boxing channel out there, and I can sense in their tone. And you get this with basketball as well, actually. You can see, you can get a sense in the tone of the channel. Usually it's by a white guy or somebody like that. I'm not saying it's ex exclusively, but you can get a sense in their tone that the way they're going to approach the matter of uh, Deontay Wilder, or sorry, not Deontay Wilder, LeBron James, <laughs> not Deontay Wilder, it's going to be rather negative. And the way they talk about it, you can just, you get the hint of sarcasm and, you know, the, the, the way they sort of want to deride everything that certain players do there's a certain snide and sarcastic tone to the way they approach matters you might be able to learn something from them but i'm not necessarily going to really and i, I mean what i what i probably do learn from channels like that is a way to actually um not so much debunk what they're saying but defend whatever i might believe to be the opposite point of view if there is in fact a way to defend it so that's why you watch people that you don't necessarily agree with not because you appreciate what they're bringing as such but because there might be times when you just need to know the thinking pattern the, the way people who oppose your point of view 
try to repackage a particular subject and read and redistribute it and i think you get you get that a lot with boxing material as well you get that a lot with them um, particularly deontay wilder the very polemic issue of deontay wilder now people ask what's next for deontay wilder i said all that preamble just to say this really that people ask what's next for deontay wilder and honestly speaking subjectively of course i do not care what happened i think he's got a good life he's got a lot of things lined up if he was wise if he really was determined he would leave this boxing nonsense alone and pursue his real goal which is to be an actor you know what i mean i think I'd, i could appreciate that get the hell away from boxing stop talking that nonsense about being a king and being this and being that it is so lame the idea of being this kang is just so fucking lame it's terrible and you know here's, uh, here's another thing i just want to talk about what is this stuff why are people infected all of a sudden with this this nonsensical stuff from the 18th century what do i mean we're in 2023 and Deontay Wilder is still talking about this mythological sayings of his fucking grandmama as if we all grew up in the fucking south eating grits listening to big mama talk big mama ain't always fucking wise and spiritual big mama's just big mama that's it lazy as fuck dirty and that's it you know what i mean and she might be some matriarch or whatever the fuck that's because you know certain people couldn't take care of their society because of the way they were treated it is what it is and but this nonsense where deontay wilder thinks it's just cool and everybody's got to appreciate the fact that his mythical grandmama said something about him nobody cares what the fuck your grandmama said this isn't roots on fucking tv my nigga i mean seriously what grown man still talks about his grandma what his grandmama told him your father didn't teach you anything your uncles didn't teach you anything you're still talking about this silly grandmama of yours she might have been mistaken anyway make it seem as if this grandmama was in fact touched by god or something was she a witch you know the fuck every time my grandmama told me my grandmama told me this ain't no fucking 1923 in fucking alabama this is 2023 and this whole thing where you keep on talking about your grandmother if she even did exist because you see don't know why a liar he might just be making stuff up he might be making stories up to tell and tell us that his grandmama told him this, his grandmama told him that. His grandmama didn't tell I I wouldn't be surprised if his grandma didn't tell him fuck all. They're all liars. Fabricating stories as they see fit. We all know, deep down in your heart, you know that Tay Jones is lying. When he said that he heard that Anthony Joshua wanted to retire. Who would Anthony Joshua say that to? And who would it say that to, to the point where it would get to Tay Jones, the fucking foot, feet washer, foot washer of Deontay Wilder. You see, here's the thing with Tay Jones. Tay Jones likes to over, um, how can I put it, exaggerate his association with Deontay. His next claim is that he named his child, no, no, no. He made Deontay Wilder the godfather of his child. Well, I suppose it's one way to try and tie yourself in to Deontay Wilder's wealth and family and popularity. And you can claim that you're that close to him. But I don't believe this nonsense where Tay Jones said that he sat down and had this heart to heart with Deontay Wilder and said like, bro, you know, you got to live this fight lifestyle. No, I don't think you would dare. I don't think Tay Jones would dare say that shit to Deontay Wilder. I think you, I think you, you bowed your head and you just kissed his ass as usual, and you probably made it out like you know, uh, like um, Joseph Parker didn't do anything special, and you know he's still Bomb Squad and he's still the greatest thing since sliced bread, and you know what I mean. In the hope that no matter what happens, he will never cast you away or cast you out of his presence. That's what you did. So Tay Jones is a liar. Tay Jones says like, and, and you know, this this thing where he says like, oh yeah, well, those are people that lead the country and that's what they talk. Tay Jones, you're a fucking liar, man. And 
that's is where, this is where you have a problem with uh, Deontay Wilder himself because Deontay Wilder says the rumor. Why are you spreading rumors? Why are you grown men spreading rumors? He said the rumor was rumor from who? Rumor from Tay Jones. The rumor from Tay Jones is that Anthony Joshua wants to quit boxing if you win. So why didn't you try your best to win then? Why didn't you try your damnedest to win then? Just to, just so we could see it. Just so you could prove your point. So he wanted to quit if you won and then you decided to lose. Is that what we're supposed to believe now? You're trying to change the topic conveniently? Nobody believes that shit. And the people, and you, and you know, the funny thing, here's the thing where this is a problem you're always going to have with um, Deontay Wilder and the people that interview him on social media is that if Tay Jones for one is as close as he is as it claims to be with uh, Deontay Wilder Tay Jones has a channel just about everybody who is associated with the well I suppose the movement behind Deontay Wilder knows Tay Jones's channel Nate, know that it's almost like the what, what you might call that one who associates with Terrence Crawford, Bernie the Boxer, or something like that. You all, we all know Bernie the Boxer. We might not necessarily watch his material as such. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't, we don't, we don't see Terrence Crawford on there. But let's say, for example, Deontay Wilder gave Tay Jones an interview, even though he'd be sycophantic, probably even more sycophantic than what we get with you know the guy that he does interviews with at the moment. Then we could believe it, but you know, we 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 hardly see this guy actually talking to Deontay Wilder at all. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. Was he? Did he take Tay Jones to Saudi Arabia? I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. I don't know. But that's besides the point. The point is this, right? Deontay Wilder is playing these silly games, spreading rumors, lies. And still trying to have people believe that he can appeal to their emotion by claiming this myth, this, this myth, this myth, this mythology of a grandmama being so also wise and powerful, as if we're supposed to be stuck in that sort of dark ages, rather than the age of enlightenment, whereby even if your grandmother didn't tell you shit, you know what I mean? Some people grew up without grandmamas or even parents, and they're still good, but you're still trying to convince us because your grandmama said it. It has to be like that. Well, we don't believe your fucking grandmama. How about that? We don't believe this grandmama nonsense. And you're all a bunch of liars. You lie too much. Deontay Wilder's a liar. And he lied to his fans by convincing them that somehow he and Malik Scott decided to lie to the fans that they were preparing for this fight and they were going to do something special with Joseph Parker. And he showed up and he looked like shit. Even on the scales looked like shit. And they want to claim he got civilized, blah, blah, blah. blah. Nobody said that Anthony Joshua got civilized, did they? They want Anthony Joshua to remain. I, I mean, Anthony Joshua could have got a lot more civilized. But instead, they said, oh, yeah, he got mentally weak. We're not going to say that Deontay Wilder got mentally weak, are we? Despite the fact that we suspect that he was broken by Tyson Fury. In fact, we know he was broken by Tyson Fury. Let's just keep it a buck. It'll never be the same. He knocked somebody out and start crying. <laughs> he, he knocked Robert Helena's out, was it? And they started crying. And that's the first thing that Derek Chisora noticed about him. Like, you know what? I, I don't think you can say anything. They might start crying. But we're supposed to believe somehow that this motherfucker can still tell us something about his grandmother. Ain't nobody interested in what the fuck Deontay Wilder's grandmama told him. And you all need to stop fucking facilitating that bullshit. And I'm talking to his fanboys as well. You need to start saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, we, we, listen. Let's just get real. Ain't nobody care about your fucking grandmama. Ain't nobody care about your grits eating grandmama in fucking Alabama, Tuscaloosa, wherever she is. That's a matter for you. What are you gonna do apart from what you're gonna so what you So what are you telling me? What are you telling me? You're... <laughs> Did your grandma predict you were going to get beaten by Joseph Parker as well? You know? That's all I got to say, man. Uh, and uh, I don't expect this message to get through. 
it's uh you know it's two days after christmas here as you can see i'm doing my thing working out it's not that serious you know what i mean this is just the way to keep fit missing baskets and shit did i make this one no i think i make the next one watch this yo watch this i think i make the next one oh i didn't make that oh did i make it nah i can't remember i think i made one of them anyway but there you go do i make this one let's see nope all right well i make some you win some you lose some i'm a bit like john Tawada that way isn't it sometimes you swing and miss sometimes it goes in you know but uh the snow makes it a little bit more difficult doesn't it really you know what i'm saying did my grandmother say i'm gonna make this shot nope my grandmother didn't say that 